Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 12 Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Booster Packs. I did get these booster packs from a booster box that I bought from Collector's Cash for $89.99. I'm doing these large booster pack openings just to break up the one large booster box. have opened a booster box in the past on my channel from Collector's Cash. Definitely take a look at that if you haven't already. So far, Sun and Moon has treated me quite well. Would hope to get either a secret rare or a hyper rare out of one of these 12 packs. But of course, any ultra rare I would take. I'm a big fan of this set so far just because so many cards from this set are hard to pull. I believe there are 14 secret rares in this set. So first pack of the 12 starts off with a Torkoal. There is a Rowlet. Drowsy. Cutie Fly. Makuhita. There is a fairy type energy, rare candy, pincer, how trainer, then there is an energy switch, reverse hollow, that is an uncommon card, and the first rare in this opening is a two cannon, which is a rare non hollow. Definitely reminds me of the bird from the Fruit Loops box. Okay, next up here. There's the code card. One, two, three, four, and the next two are the rare and reverse hollow. And this pack starts off with a Marini, followed by a Dupiter. There's a Bound Sweet, Lillipup, Paris, Fighting Type Energy, of course, one energy card per pack, Granbull, Metapod. There is a Lily. This one is available in full art form. Reverse Hollow is a Crab Roller. That is a common card. And the second rare in this opening is a Cloister. So that's another rare non hollow. Okay, next up, and I will hopefully summarize some good pulls at the end of this opening. With 12 packs, you would think I'd pull a couple of good cards out of here. I do like opening packs from booster boxes just because you're guaranteed a certain pulls from a booster box. So I'll set that aside. So card trick here, one, two, three, and four, and then move the next two. And this pack starts off with a Grubbin, followed by Drowsy. There is a Crab Brawler, Sandile, a Lolan Meowth, Grass Type Energy. There is a Nest Ball Trainer, Dartrix, a Lolan Persian. Reverse Hollow of an Alolan Doug Trio. That is a rare Reverse Hollow. Still a funny looking Doug Trio, if you ask me. And then the final card in the pack is a Tauros GX. So a pretty good pull right there. Pretty powerful GX card. Not worth much, but a very cool looking first generation ultra rare from this set. Okay, next pack here. So Galio pack. Okay, code card, and this pack here starts off with a Torkoal, there is a Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, Makuhita, there's a Fire Type Energy, Switch Trainer, there's an Alolan Persian, Breon, Reverse Hollow, a Wishy Washy, Uncommon Rarity, and the rare here is a Beware. Now when I first opened up my Sun and Moon Booster Box, a couple of people commented saying that that was one of their favorite Pokemon of the 7th generation. To me it looks a bit strange, almost like a bear body and then something like a Care Bear's head, just a pink head on it. So there's a code card. And this pack here starts off with a Stuffle. Of course you'll need this to get to Beware. Then there's a Marini, Dupiter, Bound Sweet, Lillipup, Psychic Type Energy, there is a How, Dartrix, Pokeball Trainer, Reverse Hollow of a Potion, Uncommon Rarity of course, and then the rare in this pack is a Palosand. 
Remember Paolo San from when I opened up the Collection Sun and Collection Moon booster boxes. The Japanese booster boxes released way back in December. It was one of the, the funnier Pokemon, I would say, when I was opening that. Just mainly new to Sun and Moon. I haven't played the games as much as I would like. So a lot of these Pokemon are new to me once I've been opening these Sun and Moon packs. So this pack starts off with a Wingle. There's a Poplio. Growlithe. Grubbin, Zubat, Lightning type energy, there's a rainbow energy, a cool looking reverse hollow if you can pull it. There's a Jarjabug, Rotom Dex, be nice to pull that in secret rare form. Reverse hollows, hollows a Professor Kakui, and then the rare in the pack is a Vika Volt, and that is the first hollow pull of this opening. So pretty good so far, a GX. A rare reverse hollow and then a hollow. Still have six packs left to go, so halfway through this opening, it'd be nice to get the same type of pulls in these final six packs. So here is the code card. I have not messed up the card trick one time, I think, in any of my openings of Sun and Moon. One, the first card in the pack is a Cosmog. Then there's a Fomantis, a Lolan Grimer, Togedemaru, definitely a fun Pokemon's name to say, Stuffle, there's a Darkness type energy, Pokemon Catcher, Granbull, next up is a Boldor, Reverse Hollow, it's a Spearow, and that one is a common card, and the rare in the pack is a Crabomitable, easy one to have a tongue twister on, I was able to get through that name. Lunala pack now. Looks like Poplio right on the front. I haven't actually checked to see if there are two different types of code cards here. It's nice that all of them are the opposite way when you open the packs. Yeah, I can actually see right away if you're going to get a, a Hollow Ultra Rare or a Rare Non Hollow. So this pack, like I said, starts off with a Poplio. There's a Toganamaru. Shelder. Makuhita, Firo, Water Type Energy, probably my favorite type of Pokemon overall. There's an Experience Share Trainer, Alolan Raticate, Wishy Washy, Reverse Hollow of a Crocodile, second rare Reverse Hollow of this opening, and then the final card in the pack is a Parasect, which is a non hollow rare. Moving on to the next pack now. So Galeo on the cover artwork. Of course, the goal with new sets when they come out, I always try to complete all of the ultra rare, secret rares, and hollows as soon as possible. And a lot of people ask me if I complete the set as well. And I open so many packs trying to just get those cards that I almost all the time do complete the set. So this pack here starts off with a Wingle. There's a Poplio. Growlithe. Next up, Grubbin, followed by Zubat, Fairy type energy. There is a double colorless energy, a very good special energy card. Yukumuku. There is a Crocorock, will work well with that rare reverse hollow of Crocodile. Dartrix is the reverse hollow, uncommon rarity. And the rare here in this pack is a Gumshoes GX. So there's the second GX pull of this pack opening like the silver border to those cards as well. And they almost do look like full art cards, but you can just look at the number in the bottom right hand corner and if it's not towards the end of the set, then it is just a regular GX and not a GX full art. And in booster boxes you usually get one full art per box. I believe out of this booster box I have pulled a full art trainer, so I'm probably not going to get another one with these packs from the box. So, first card in this pack is a Roggenrola. There is a Cosmog, Fomantis, Alolan Grimer, Togedemaru. There is a Metal Type Energy, Rainbow Energy, Toracat. There is a Reverse Hollow after this Metapod of a Dupider, Common Rarity. And the rare here in the third to last pack is a Hariyama. Cool looking artwork on this card, but. Not a hollow or anything, but very happy with my pulls so far. So here we have an Incineroar pack. Very powerful looking 
Pokemon, but if you pull the GX out of this card, not very valuable, and usually values all determined by how good the card is in the TCG. Okay, second to last pack here starts off with a Paris. There is a Firo, Litten, Young Goose, there's a Surskit, Fighting Type Energy, Brion, Croc Rock, there is a Pelipper, Reverse Solo of Rotom Dex. Like to get this in secret rare form. This is an uncommon reverse solo. And the rare here is a Golduck. Of course, a lot of people commented on the Golduck break card that Golduck is finally gold. Of course, Golduck normally blue in color. So, final pack here in this 12 Sun and Moon booster pack opening. I'll summarize my polls after I get through this pack. Very happy with the polls overall. Definitely can't complain. And final pack here. Starts off with a Morlow. There's a Skarmory. Caterpie. There is a Sandy Ghast. Rock and Roll. A couple of fighting type Pokemon in a row. Psychic type Energy. Team Skullgrunt, and that is the full art trainer that I've pulled out of this box. There is a Metapod, Granbull, Reverse Hollow of an Experience Share, Uncommon Trainer card, and the final card in this opening, a Sharpedo Hollow. So, definitely a great way to end this opening. I'll summarize my polls now. So, it looks like two, two, and two for rare reverse hollows, hollows, and then ultra rares. So I didn't pull anything spectacular out of this opening, but very solid pulls, and I would say above average overall. So two rare reverse solos, Crocodile, and then a Lowland Dug Trio, two hollows in Vika Volt, and then the card that I just pulled, Sharpedo, and then two GX cards out of this pack opening, Gumshoes, and then a Tauros. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.